and the main two topics we have left is how to add stuff to the tree and how to delete stuff. The deletion algorithm is much trickier than the addition algorithm. However, because this course is based in Java, the addition algorithm does have one little issue that I need to go over with you. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to create some data here and we're gonna put it in the tree. We've done this before, but what's gonna be different this time is I'm gonna write some pseudocode on this side as we go along to give us an idea of how to create the code for uh, adding to a tree. So uh, the insertion method can be called insert or add, whatever you like. I'm just gonna call it uh, uh, add over here. And it's gonna take uh, two parameters. And uh, the first parameter is gonna be the value that we need to add. And the other parameter is going to be the, the root node or the current node. And uh, we're gonna need that in order to be able to recurse and find where the item needs to be added. Now, for the first uh, version of this algorithm, I'm gonna return void, and later on I'll show you why this is gonna be an issue. Uh, but for now, we'll just write it like this. And we're gonna fill this in as we go today, and I'm going to go through the, the pencil and paper exercise of building the binary search tree on this side, and we'll write the pseudocode on this side. So let's say I get some numbers here. So it says seven and two and five and nine and 11 and uh, 13. I think that should be enough. And we'll say that the stream is going this way. So this will be the first number that we encounter. And so we're going to do what with the seven? Who remembers? What are we gonna do with the seven? Yes, sir. We're gonna set it as the root. So here we're gonna set it as the root. And in terms of our pseudocode, we can say that if the root is equal to null, uh, what we want to do is we want to set the root, and we want to do is we want to put the value in the root. Now, what kind of data type is root, and what kind of data type is value? Yes, sir. Uh, root is type tree node, and value is type t. Okay, so value is a generic, and the root is a, is a node, it's a type of node. So can I just go like this? Can I do that? I can't do that. So I need to do something here. Discuss with your partner, what do I need to do here to make this work? Mr. Alejandro, what do you think, sir? Uh, okay, so I need to create a new node here. And I think I called it BST node the other day, so I'll continue using that terminology. And uh, here, we're gonna put value in here. Okay, so if the root is null, then we can just add it in, and then uh, we'll just return out of this method so we don't do any more damage, because I think that's all we need to do. So already something should be bothering you here. I'm guessing most of you haven't caught on but there's something wrong with this code, and I'll give you a hint. It won't work in Java, but it'll work in some other programming languages like C and C++. Does anybody know what's wrong with the code that I've got so far? Mr. Ben, you have an idea? Well, a couple. So um, since we have a generic type in the tree node or PST node, you would need to use the care brackets, and also value and root don't have de uh, designated. Okay, you're right for, uh, there, sir. I think I need uh, here, uh, that wasn't really what I was getting at, but you're, you're right, I do have to fix that. What was the other thing? Uh, and I guess value and root need to be, um, like you need to write the types. Uh, this is just pseudocode, so I wasn't, yeah, I do. Uh, so this should say T, and over here it should say BST node type T. But there's something else that's fundamentally wrong here, and it's really kind of hard to see. Yes, sir? Return. Uh, no, that's okay. This is a void type, so I don't need to put anything no, after the, the term. Uh, I am going to need more stuff here, but there's already an error here. Mr. Orspive, do you know what's wrong, sir? I was say yes, that. Mr. Uh, no, it'll use the local one here. That's not a problem. I can distinguish between the local one and the and the one in here. If I use this dot root, it'll be the attribute root. Here, it'll be just the local one. You can stare at this for hours and completely forget that root is being passed as a parameter. Can I change it in the method? No. Java doesn't support call by reference, it only supports call by value. 
So what's happening here is that the parameters, if you mess with them here, they'll only change in this method. When you go back to the, the method that called this method, this root won't be changed. I thought that was only with primitives. Don't, don't objects... This so this is a pointer, right. and if you wanted to change what the thing was pointing at, you could, you could go to that memory location and change it, but the pointer itself is being passed by value, and so it can't be changed. So think of it like if I was passing a dog. I could change the dog's name, but I can't change the dog that this pointer is pointing to. So this won't work. Yes? So this dot root would probably be better? So the problem with that, sir, is that it's not always going to be this dot root because when I recurse, it's going to be the root of the subtree. Oh. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go through this uh, algorithm with you. We'll just for the time being pretend that it works. And then when we go next door to code it, I'll show you how we have to modify this slightly in order to get it to work in Java. Okay, that's what we'll do. All right, so let's just keep going as if it's okay. And in certain languages, by the way, the ones that support call by reference, where you can change your parameters permanently in the code, like C++, this algorithm will work. So now the next thing we do here is, let's say we're adding another item. So we're gonna add the, so we, we stored this one, right? Now we have the two coming in. And so we're looking here and uh, we have to decide now, uh, do we go to the left or do we go to the right? Which way is it gonna be? Yes, sir, Mr. F, sorry? We're going to go to the left here, and we're going to add in the two. So what would that look like in the code? Well, we would say that if the root dot value is greater than the value that we have here, uh, then what we would do is we would say if root dot left is equal to null. In other words, if this part here is null, right? If this part here is null, then we want to basically insert it into root.left. So we would go root.left equals new BST node. Okay, so basically I'm checking to see if I'm going to the right or the left. I'm going to the right or the left. Here I'm going to the left, and if there's space, I'm going to add it in. What if there's not space? Discuss with your partner what's going to happen if there's no space. Is this greater than sign, sir? Yeah. I'm going to get to that, but that's a very good catch on your part. We need to change this. I'm going to get to that, that but that's a good catch. Okay, so um, if there's space here, I, I'm going to be able to add it in like this. What do I do if there's not space? What if there's like already an element here? What do I do? Yes, sir. I have to recurse now. So right over. So right here, by the way, if I do add the new element in, what should I do if I've managed to add the new element in? What should I do right here? Return. And then if I get here, that means that it, it didn't work. There was something here blocking me. So now I'm going to recurse. And so I'm going to call this method again and I'm gonna add the same value, except this time I'm not gonna use root. What am I gonna use here? Yes, sir? Root dot left. Root dot left, very good. You see what's going on, right? Now, uh, I don't have any room here, so I'll just continue over here. I'll just continue over here, but basically I need to do the same thing now if for this if statement if it's greater than or equal to. Okay, so this was the case where I went to the left. I need to write the similar case when I go to the right. And I realize that this recursion is playing with your head, but we're now in a second year college course, so what can you do? Uh, so we're gonna go through that, and um, I think that's basically the gist of the algorithm. Okay, so that's basically the general algorithm. The algorithm needs to be modified for Java because as I said, we can't really pass root as a parameter because the parameter can't be changed in here. So what we need to do is change this void to a different type. Unfortunately, when we do that, the recursion gets a little bit more tricky and I'm not expecting you to figure it out. I'm just gonna give it to you, but you can get it working just by looking at it. But what I'd like you to do is just take a picture of this if you can 
so that when we go next door, you'll be able to follow along. Okay. Uh, Mr. Franovic mentioned something. Mr. Franovic mentioned something during the quiz, not the quiz, during the uh, pseudocode that I was writing. He said that we're going to get statements like this if node value is less than value. And he said, we can't really do that operation. I mean, if these were numbers, we could do it. But what if we're using some more complicated object that implements the comparable interface, but doesn't actually work with this greater than less than operator? So in our code, when we go next door, instead of comparing the values like this, we need to use some other technique to compare the values. And I'd like you to discuss with your partner now, well, how should I replace this line of code? What should I replace it with so that it'll work uh, more, general, more generically with anything that's comparable? Please discuss. Okay, Mr. Frederick, since you were the first one to point it out, sir, what, how should I replace this code? Uh, you, can, uh, you have to write a compare to method, but you can use that. Assume that's already written, what oh, would so I do? Just uh, compare, uh, if no dot compare to. No. no. And what would I put in here? Uh, value equals negative one equals equals. Sir, you can't tell if it's going to give you a negative one or a zero or a one. The only thing it is guaranteed the compare to method is it's either going to be zero, positive, or negative. Okay. Now most of them return plus one or minus one, but that's not guaranteed. Okay. In fact, if you were comparing characters, it would actually tell you how far away the characters are from each other. So it wouldn't be minus one and plus one. It would just be less than zero. Okay. So this is a more generic way of writing that when you don't know if the value uses that operator or not. So since we're going to be using our generic T to write our binary search tree, we need to write it this way and not that way. 